What's up, peeps? I decided to do a quick and fun little project. So I love Pikmin, and about a week ago my husband surprised me with some red, blue, and yellow shrimp for my snail tank, which used to house my sweet beta girl Sundance. Swim in peace, little one. Anyways, I call the shrimp my little Pikmin, and here's a really bad quality photo. They have inspired me to do some Pikmin art today. This will not be your average painting. I am doing this in three different ways, and you can tell me at the end which one you like the best. The first one will be with Tombow markers, second will be with Prismacolor pencils, and lastly, but not leastly, the third will be with our good old friend, watercolor. Now, unfortunately, as much as I would like to put Pikmin music in this video, I cannot do so legally because of copyright issues, so you will have to enjoy some of my royalty-free music from Epidemic Sound. Enjoy the video. So this first one's going to be with Tombow Marker, and I would like to preface this with I suck at markers. So needless to say, this is my least favorite one. Maybe somebody else will like it. This one happens to be my favorite Pikmin, the yellow Pikmin, and I decided to do this one with Prismacolor, and it does end up being my favorite, and I might be a little biased saying that because yellow's the best. Change my mind.
All right, and lastly, the little red one is going to be with my Sennelier watercolor. I'm using bright red and a little bit of alizarin crimson for the body, a little bit of forest green mixed with phalo green for the leaf, and some Payne's gray for the eyes. Alright, here's the finished painting. Now comment down below if you like the marker, the pencil, or the paint the most. If you like all three, awesome. I like the yellow. And that's all for today. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hit that like if you dug it and subscribe if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.